Hi everyone, I'm Salvatore Dimino. I'm a wedding photographer based in Sicily in Italy and I'm so excited here to be today to share with all of you some of my tips, what I usually do uh, when, I, uh, when I have my weddings, my technique and I was very happy that in the last magazine of Rangefinder, I'm so you know, uh, proud of it and I honor it that they share with, the, with all of you three of my images with the diagram trying to explain what I usually do in my weddings. And today, I will try to emulate the same thing in my home with my wife, uh, she's gonna be my model. And we're gonna do the first one, the first image is the image that I took in Venice for the symposium which was organized by my big friend and best friend Grandmaster Yevant with the Graphic Studio. And I took this image in this beautiful, amazing um, place. We tried to recreate the same situation, even if it's not the same environment. But we are here in the living room and I put my light, my flash, the indoor 500 from Photix, that I actually am uh, ambassador of Photix, and I'm using the Odin 2 Photix. So this flash will go through the window and illuminate the subject that will stand here and, uh, and also will create some texture on the wall and we can see it. I will leave down my lights on this environment but the flash that will be much powerful, everything will, be, we will, will go underexposed and the subject that catch the light that comes through the window from the flash of course, will pop out actually from all the environment and we will see it together. Okay? Let's go. Just okay, so as you see, I have my model here, my wife, Arianna, and um, like I said, I have a, a flash outside this window. You can see it from here. That I have this window open, and outside we have the flash. We have an Indra 500. I need to take a picture at the environment. So let's do it together. So first of all, we're gonna flash. And you can see here from the image, but in this case, I get my exposure. I like the, the light that we have in the environment, and I'm sure it's gonna be everything underexposed. The only light we're gonna see is the light that comes from, that comes from uh, the window, which is the flesh. So let's do it together and see what happens. The kid is not my son. You see, here we have the image. And like I said, I only expo I, 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 I just take the exposure only for the highlights. So that's the only, the only thing that I really need to create this image. Okay, so I hope it was simple. And let's go for the next step, for the next image. Da, da, da. Okay guys, so the next image, it's about the three reflection, the triple reflection that we can create with the simple square, right? With simple frames that we have at home. So the image that, we, that I created in my wedding day, it was not actually a table, but it was like, you know, the big, I don't know how you call it. Anyway, it was much higher. So that's the reason why my wife is just sitting to create the same, you know, perspective. So the first thing is, first of all, to create this reflection, the big thing is that you need to have dark area in all the environment, in the bedroom in this case, or in this, in this living room. I need to shut down all the lights and only turn on one light, which I, I'm using now, an ice light too, that we will see it together. It's just there on the, close to the stairs on, on the chair because I don't have my tripod here at my home. The one light that it's illuminating my subject. And that's it. So again, I take my exposure on the highlights so in this case, the light that the ice light uh, produced for, to illuminate the subject. And I take my exposure on, on the highlights and that's it. And just need to find the reflection on the frames. Remember, we need to keep the, the, the lens, the camera, very close to the surface. And more closer we go to the surface, more powerful is the reflection. So don't forget that. Because if you stay always far away uh, from the surface, the reflection is going to be weak. But if you stay very close to it, it's going to be very, very powerful. And we will see it together. And instead of only have one reflection, we're going to have tri triple reflection just playing with the frames. Okay, let's do it. So you can see already the reflection that we have on the surface of the frames, you see? So take my strong 
But you know the the clients, I think they appreciate this type of, uh, of of picture because it's something you know very creative. So from nothing you can create something unique. She came and stood right by me. The smell of sweet perfume. This happened much too soon. So the last image, it's very simple. I don't have a group here, so I can't create the image. But it's very simple. It's always the same concept. I take a picture of the environment and be sure to keep it underexposed. And then I use my flash directly at 45 degrees and stay on top of me so I can create this dramatic light. And uh, we, have, we will have a lot of details and just a bit dramatic, like I said, to keep it more, you know, uh, more Hollywood light, like I, I used to say. I use it very often, this light, because it's very different. It's not flat. That's why I put it at 45 degrees on top of me so the light will be we're coming from the top and we'll create this dramatic, like powerful and beautiful image that works always for all the weddings. Everybody wants an image like that in the wedding book. Okay, and that's all guys. I hope you enjoy. Bye bye. <laughs>